Hi and welcome, Dan Kandel here, the Anxiety Relief Guy, creator of the Anxiety Relief Revolution. Today's question is from Derek L. And he wants to know, does confidence tie in with anxiety or is it its own thing separately? That's a great question and here is my response. All right, so let's talk about this, Derek. Anxiety and confidence definitely do relate to one and to one another. In fact, confidence has nothing to do with cockiness or arrogance, and that's why some people are sometimes afraid to be more confident. Confidence, when defined by Webster's dictionary, is a belief in oneself and one's own abilities. That's it. It's just it's a belief that you have about yourself and your ability to do the things you think you should do and feel good about them. Now, here's the thing with anxiety. Anxiety it doesn't just mean having panic attacks. It means self-doubt, it means worry. And in order to become more confident, we have to stop the self-doubt and the worry in its tracks because that's the opposite of confidence. That stops you from being confident. So, every time you feel anxious or you doubt yourself or you worry or or you question your abilities to do something, it carves this groove in the left-hand side of your brain. What we want to do is we want to recognize those patterns and stop them by using some very simple, effective mental techniques. Every time we stop those patterns, it carves, uh, excuse me, it fills in that anxiety groove. It fills in that groove of self-doubt and of worry and of negative anticipation. At the same time, we want to carve a new groove instead of how you'd rather feel. Now, for some people, it's confidence, which again is, is that belief or that high performance mentality. For others, it's carving a groove of feeling more comfortable, safe, relaxed, calm, in control, resilient, motivated, powerful, productive, whatever it is, it's that high performance groove that we're carving of how you'd rather feel instead. So yes, Derek, when you need to feel more confident, you need to recognize those feelings that are holding you back from feeling more confident or that are keeping you feeling doubtful or, or worried about something. You have to stop those feelings and then you replace those negative feelings with more positive, inspirational feelings of confidence, of security, and of eliminating that self-doubt. So they definitely do go hand in hand. When you're more confident, you start feeling better, you start performing better, you start putting yourself in new situations that used to be uncomfortable. That's why you want to be confident. And again, it has nothing to do with arrogance or cockiness or anything like that. It's all about that high performance mentality so you can accelerate your mindset. So with that said, there's some insight into confidence and also anxiety as well. Yes, they do go in hand in hand. So here's what I want you to do if you haven't done it yet. If you are serious about reducing your anxiety and taking control over those negative patterns that hold you back, I want you to head over to anxietyreliefguide.com or even click the link below. You can schedule a 30 minute complimentary discovery session with either myself or one of my team members and we can help you and figure out how you're going to overcome that anxiety where you can gain more insight into what you'd like to achieve and accomplish and also the obstacles that hold you back so we can set a plan of how you move forward. So go ahead, do that, my friends. Dan Candell, Anxiety Relief Guy, creator of the Anxiety Relief Revolution. As always, be well, do good, and be true to who you are.